One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup, one blessing, which we bless. And though, though many, to of the earth, we are one body, this one Lord. Gentile or Jew, servant or free, Woman or man, no more. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup, one blessing, which we bless. And though we're many throughout the earth, we are one body in this one Lord. Nice morning. In name of the Lord, the Vic, the Spirit, Ne Amen. You're all welcome. Friends, no matter what part of the world you are, enemies are welcome too. No one excluded. May the peace and love of the Lord Jesus Christ with each and every one of you and with the Spirit. Now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the country of Lord heart, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, and may Almighty God of mercy and us forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King of God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now for our opening prayer, we're going to let us pray, we're just going to tell you it's the recorded Mass for the Body and Blood of Christ. It's about the food and the drink of eternal life, so you'll hear on later. So, our opening prayer, we let us pray to the Lord who gives himself in the Eucharist that this sacrament may bring us salvation and peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Now we can sit down for the readings. First reading today is from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how the Lord your God led you for forty years in the wilderness to humble you, to test you, 
and to know your inmost heart, whether we would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you. He made you feel hunger. He fed you with manna, which neither you nor your fathers had known, to make you understand that man does not live on bread alone, but that man lives in everything that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not then forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who guided you through the vast and dreadful wilderness, a land of fury, serpents, scorpions, thirst, who in this waterless place brought you water from the hardest rock, who in this wilderness fed you with manna and your fathers had not known. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Responsory to Sam today. The response is going to be Alleluia, but there's another version you can respond is, Oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. But Alleluia is given praise to the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. Alleluia. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with his finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. Alleluia. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel in laws and degrees. He is not dead thus with any nations, any other nations. He has not taught them his decree. Alleluia. Second reading today, it's a letter, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ, and the bread that we break is a communion with the body of Christ. The fact that there is only one loaf means that there are many of us. We form a single body because we all share in this one loaf, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There is a sequence. It's a bit long, but I'll do it. I may not preach today. Sing for to Zion, sweetly sing the praises of thy shepherd king in hymns and canticles divine. Dare all the, ca the canist thou hast no song. Worthy his praises of pro to prolong, so far surpassing powers like thine. Today no theme of common praise forms the sweet burden of thy lays. The living life dispensing food, the food which at a sacred board unto the brethren twelve our Lord is part and legacy bestowed. Then to the anthem, clear and strong, the fullest note, the sweetest song. The very music of the breast, from now shines forth the day sublime, that bring remembrance of the time when Jesus first his table blessed. Within a new king's banquet hall, they meet to keep the festival that slows clothed the ancient Paschal rite. The old is by the new replaced, the substance hath the shadow chased, and rising day dispels the night. Christ willed what he himself had done, should be renewed while time should run, the memory of his parting hour that shooted in the schoolhouse divine. We consecrate the bread and wine, and lo, O host of saving power, the faith to Christian men is given. Bread is made flesh by words from heaven. Into the blood the wine is turned, 
what through the battle's nature powers of senses and sight the faith of ours proves more than nature ere discerned. Concealed beneath the two fluted sign, two fold sign, meet symbols of the gifts of thine, but the mysteries adored. The living body is our food, our drink and our precious blood, and each one individual, Lord. Now that the earth is, earth is divides, the sacred food which whole divides. Unbroken, still, there no decay. No one, or be a thousand fed, they eat alike that living bread, which was still received, ne'er wastes away. The good, the guilty, share their own, what sure increase of grace is sin, the ghostly life or ghostly death, death to the guilty, to the good. Immortal life, see how our food, man's joy or woe accomplished. We break the sacrament but hold, hold, and firm thy faith shall keep its hold. Deem not the whole doth more unfold than in the fractured part resides. Deem not the Christ that broken lie. Tis but the sign that meets the eye. The hidden deep reality in all its fullness and still abides. But the bread of the angel sent for pilgrims in their banishment, the bread of God's true children meant, that they not, may not unto doves be given, oft in the golden type for shadow. In Israel are the altar bird, and in the ancient paschal food, and in the manna sent from heaven. Come then, good shepherd, bread divine, Still show to us thy mercy sign. O oh, feed us still, keep us thine. So may we see thy glorious shame shine in fields of immorality. O oh, thou the wisest, mightiest, best, our present food, our future rest. Come, make us each day thy chosen guest, co heirs of thine, and comrades blessed, but saints whose dwelling is with thee. And now we're going to stand for the gospel acclamation. This recording of Mass for the the 14th, we're going to now read the Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel, the Holy Gospel, according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I give you 
is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started arguing with one another, How can this man give us flesh to eat? They said, and Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does not eat, anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life. And I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him. As I, who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father, who whatever eats me and draws life from me, this is the bread come down from heaven, not the bread of our ancestors yet. They are dead. But anyone who eats this bread will last forever. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, with a long sequence, I don't know whether you took it in, but uh, I'm going to say a very little today because it's about eating the bread. It's simply, you receive the Eucharist which God gives. That's very, very most important. And we all know the Mass is uh, one of the most important sacraments in, in, in the Church. It is the most. So we receive the bread and the body and blood of Christ when we go to Holy Communion, you all know that, and you do it sincerely, you have Jesus, you have eaten his bread and blood, which he told you to do in the Gospel. So with that, you maybe like to do further reading into this. If you follow on the, the, the readings in the, in the Bible, you get longer story, so you can do that tonight if you wish. So with that, I think we'll uh, be bond and we stand now and affirm our faith in the risen Lord and God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial, of the Father from all things were made. First man of salvation came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again and glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. He proceeds from the Father and the Son. But the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we're going to ask you, Jesus, to take our pleas to our Heavenly Father that the will be granted in the prayers of the faithful. For the Church at this special time, all the trouble in the world, we like to pray for His Holiness, Papa Francis, Bishop of Rome, and give him the strength to carry on, the good Jesuit strength, and uh, that he, he'll stick to his point and all those people that are against them uh, be left in your hands to judge Jesus. Lord, hear us, Lord, great to hear us. For all those victims of terror in the world, all the fighting, and especially the killing of that uh, George, uh, which is murder by uh, one policeman, while three others looked on, it's a terrible situation. Stood in his head, it's on. It's in my video again. I have it videoed. It's sad to see. And I can't blame 
Jesus to people for having that remor a bad feeling in their minds because that was an awful thing to do. One of the most worst things that they could do. And the states are going to bring in the army. What they want to do, Jesus, I do feel, make the exception, uh, put them to death and show the Africans that they have a be respected. But I leave that with you, Jesus, what to do to instruct them. What I feel may not be what you feel, but I do feel in this case, to settle that argument, you would have to put those four people to death and maybe burn their bodies in public or something like that. But I leave it to you, Jesus, what to do. Lord, hear us, Lord, greatly hear us. For all those victims of uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, it's uh, not away yet. Let's trust that the state here moves forward in the, in the world and sensibly when we ease back and things, it gets away. But Jesus, you can turn it off. Like it, yeah. So we beg you, Jesus, to ask the Heavenly Father to intervene and turn it off. As people should be learning a lesson, things they haven't done in, in life, haven't done right. It's a lesson to everybody. To show them that they're not the power, the supernatural power is God. Lord, hear us, I to hear us. Now, we're going to like to pray for all those people that are sick, if you ask me to pray for them. Uh, I can't remember everybody, but I put them into my heart here, and all those people that have asked me to pray for them, we ask you, Jesus, to show mercy in their head. And we'd also like to pray for Yvonne Murphy and Cooley, who's not well at all, and uh, any people have been suffering from cancers. Lord hear us, Lord grace and hear us. For our own special plea, take a quiet moment. Lord hear us, Lord grace and hear us. Eternal rest to all who have died, O Lord, and may the souls and all the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God. Rest in peace, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them, and may the souls and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace again. Amen. Now, Jesus, we trust you take our pleas to our Heavenly Father that the our will will be granted. Amen. Now I have the also prepared the corporate on here and we have the bread and wine mixed so we go ahead. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work for you in hands comfort the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And may the mystery of the water and wine we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you Fruit of the vine, work for human hands to come for our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. And now with a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight of this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me from my iniquity, O Lord, and tend me from my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, and for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Amen. Now I'll say the day of the prayer over the gifts. Lord, may the bread and cup we offer Bring your church unity and peace. They signify. We ask this to Christ the Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, and them up to the Lord, and thanks, Lord of God. It is right and just. Father, 
all-powerful and ever-living God. We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. We joyfully proclaim our faith in the mystery of your Godhead. You have revealed your glory as the glory also of your Son and of the Holy Spirit. Three persons equal in majesty, undivided in splendor, yet one Lord, one God, ever to be adored in your everlasting glory. And so with all the choirs and angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join an ending hymn of praise. O oh, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you have given life to all things and made them holy. And you'll never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit of grace, you make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of the Son of Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the bread to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the chalice was ended, Jesus took the chalice and gave you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection as you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, I will look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pay in the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrifice of the victim by whose death you will to recognize us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished in the body and blood of your Son may be filled with this Holy Spirit and become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the inheritance which you elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. With this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the face of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity of Pilgrim Church on earth your servant, Pope Francis, the Bishop of Rome, Michael, a patriarch for me, a bishop, and the order of bishops in all the clergy, and the entire people who have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion and mercy, Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and all are pleased with you at the time of their passing, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There will we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ the Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now with the Saviour of his command, we're going to say that my favourite prayer, the Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The number of the Lord we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, to by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace and evening and peace to give you, to not in our sins and the faith of the church, and grace to grant peace and unity in accordance with the will that lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. May the mingling of the body and blood bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take with the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. The body of Christ, amen. May the blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. Well, the sons of God, so God has given you the spirit of his son to form your hearts and make you cry out, Abba, Father. Now you can make your special wish at communion. But I am going to do something which I don't know to do, but somebody has blocked the right away who I know well, and you know Jesus who they are, uh, in front of my house, the golf club, which is a right away for people here in, in, in the village for four years. And I'm now going to impose them into your hands, Jesus, set of this. And you never let me down. There's two, get a girl and woman, put it in. And I mentioned it to the, the husband, or so-called partner, and he had much sure he's a husband, but he, uh, he was going off the roof, and they were filmed by several people here in Grenoble, which is done. So I leave it in your hands, God, but I do ask you to deal with it most seriously, and don't be polite, because they're not let you down, Jesus, and I know that. Thank you, Jesus. Now, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and given be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and given be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And now the favour we ask you, Jesus, to come into the hearts of all those who are not here today who would like to receive Holy Communion, that they may receive a, a spiritual communion with you and be very close to you, have you in your heart. I ask you now, Jesus, to accept this plea from anybody there now, who wishes to receive, but are not here, they're going to receive spiritual communion, and they're going to say, the body and blood of Christ, Amen. Now, 
Lord God, we worship you. As always. We now ask you, Jesus, and thank you for what you've done for us. So now, Lord Jesus Christ, you've given us your body and blood in the Eucharist as a sign that even now we share your life. May we come to possess it completely in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the mighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth now in peace to serve the, the love of Christ. As the Mass has ended, please wait and sing a little verse for him with me. the body and blood of Christ. Now what's the hymn going to be? I see where Iran becomes first country to report second wave of the COVID virus. So be careful on that paper. If you're not observing the rules, you're going to pay we're all going to pay it here for it. So, the hymn that I chose to sing now is Nearer My God to Thee. Try and see the distance apart of the head. <laughs>